So um, um, we're here to introduce uh, our channel. The channel's called Hidden. Um, the the channel's part of uh, part of a number of things that we're doing. Um, the channel's really to be informative. Um, so we're going to produce a whole load of different videos, um, scenarios and, and stuff. And, and, yeah, yeah, and some social experiments. Yeah. Um, so we They're live the good in good kind, not like the awkward prank kind, though, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, the good kind. Well, yeah, um, no, but we should put that in because people usually do like social experiments where they pretend something. Happens. Yeah, yeah, well, no, we're not trying to catch people out. We're just trying to get a, um, I suppose, a measure of... A, a view, a, a personal, hmm. it's, it's, it's point of view, isn't it, basically? We want to try and show people um, my point of view when I go out or the point of view of us, like Shah, when we go out and, and that the, kind of thing. Yeah, and, and the difference between yeah. um, being mobile um, against having a disability. The and perceptions then, people have. Yeah, so the difference treated. between just if you're... On crutches, on crutches or, or whether yeah. you're on a wheelchair what's yeah. the difference and whether you're male or female or whether, whether you're old or yeah i wonder whether it makes a difference as well whether you can like self-propel like pegasus or whether it's an electric one whether yeah. they have an opinion as well because yeah. i feel like the less you can propel yourself or move around in like the conventional sense the well, more people well, let's face it when things. you see a wheelchair like sisyphus you expect someone to be a dribbling wreck don't you unfortunately most people do yeah it's it's the projection that you have on tv isn't it mm. So yeah, so um, so we've got uh, we've got this channel hidden. So uh, like and subscribe because uh, the more followers we get, the more uh, the more videos we can make. Um, we've also got a um, a little business running called yeah. the Bouncing Zebra. So you can go to www.bouncingzebra.co.uk. We'd also quite like it if you could pop in some comments because it's quite nice to see other people's points of view when it comes to stuff like this. Because I can only ever give a point of view from. Um, the people that provide us a point of view so it's, it's good to have a discussion because you different countries have different approaches and if we're talking like rubbish that. tell us so yeah but if you want to see more of what we're doing tell us so um so yes yeah, so we've got the little business going uh, we've also got uh, a facebook group running um we live in salisbury in wiltshire in uk um and because uh we've made friends with uh, a load of the disabled community i guess you'd call us in yeah. um in salisbury we started the cripple club so it's a group of like-minded individuals who get together to form a mutual support, um, have a social life, and uh, and just have a bit of fun. That's so you can just rant and air your worries sometimes and for that reassurance. And I suppose most people are going to probably ask why it's called the Cripple Club, because cripple can, I suppose, be one of those touchy words. But that was my choice. <laughs> and I suppose the reason why I chose cripple is because I prefer to say that my conditions cripple what I can do and cripple my ability to do them as opposed to I'm disabled because I know there's plenty of people out there that do less than me and they're able-bodied and so where do you draw the line on something like that? Disabled just... I find that as a limiting word as opposed to crippled which for me... Maybe Accurately the, describes it. You can't, yeah. you can't move about without without assistance. That's what My pain is. cripples me enough that I can't do some of the things that I would like to do so I feel it's more of an accurate portrayal so... But please discuss if you think it's not, because mm. uh, it, it is a word that has connotations, but I feel any word in the disability community has its own kind of connotations. Well, we've anyway. got too sensitive over all sorts of bloody things nowadays. Oh, but. do you know what? I find the best people that have like the less, I suppose, um, expected sense of humour and the people who are willing, willing to take the piss out of each other are usually as cripples because... You know, we've we've been in situations that most people haven't. We've had those undignifying situations where we've had to have, you know, things happen and, and situations that we haven't wanted to. So I suppose it's a, it's a different different perspective on it all, isn't it? It is indeed. Um, so, yeah, so uh, what's your conditions? What you got, Fee? Oh, do you want all of them? Yeah. Oh, Christ, I might not be able to remember them all. Hold on. Can you pass me my phone just in case I forget? No, we can remember. Oh, okay. Them. So I've got Ellis danlos Syndrome Type 3. What's that? Um, so that is a connective tissue issue. <laughs> Sorry, it's, it's not great. It's just I love saying tissue issue because it wrong. <laughs> Sorry. Um, so it's a connective tissue disorder. Basically, it's uh, I don't produce enough collagen, which means that I am uh, extra flexible in many different ways and I can easily dislocate a lot of my joints. She makes crunching sounds that you're not really going to make. See? See? Not it right. feels so good though. <laughs> not right. No, I, I'm. I, I hate. I'm the first to agree. It's not right. It freaks people out. But um, so I. This means that I have um, problems in all of my joints. I I dislocated my knee a couple of days ago because I was pushing on it a bit too hard at three o'clock in the morning. So trying to click your hip out. 
uh, yeah, click my hip back so, in. So whilst you clip your hip back out, you dislocated your knee. Yeah, it was the first time as well. So I kind of cacked myself a little bit because I was like, ooh. Um, but yeah, so I can dislocate things quite uh, a lot and even do it in stupid, simple ways. So in theory, I'm supposed to pace myself because I can get fatigued quite quite a lot and um, uh, try and do things within my ability. But um, I don't know. I like to push the limits slightly, I suppose. I'd rather try things and fail than try mm -hmm. and uh, not know. So EDS makes you basically flexible. So, yeah, so back in back in my day, it was yeah, it was when um, well, it was like double, double jointed, jointed and things like that. So you're super flexy, but it also has other effects, doesn't it? Because it can have uh, yeah. things like swallowing, gastroenteritis problems go um, quite hand in hand. Um, you can also get a, a dysautonia, something that goes hand in hand. There's quite a lot of comorbidities Pots. actually. Pots, um, autism, which I found out the other day actually is a comorbidity of types. So there's actually quite a lot of conditions that can then tag on to that. Um, but it, in, in reality, they're labels. Yeah, um, it, it's all it's it, it's and the thing with EDS is it's all kind of everything can affect you differently. So there's hypermobility and then there's EDS type three. So hypermobility, you are flexible, but it doesn't have a major effect on a lot of your joints. Um, <clears throat> you can have some effect, but um, people with hypermobility um, with the EDS hypermobility, they have a Benton scale. Basically, I think I'm nine out of nine on it last time I checked. Um, well, last time I was checked, but essentially if you don't fit into that criteria, because most of EDS has a, um, a genetic test that you can do, there's quite a lot of different versions of, uh, well, um, not versions, like types of EDS, nine, um, isn't it? I think nine at the moment, um, unfortunately hypermobility EDS is one of those that you can't actually test for genetically, so you have to test for that by... Um, Basically, you have to fulfill some major and minor criteria, and if you fill a certain percentage of the major and minor, then you are considered to have um, hypermobility. And, and you yes. ticked all of them. Uh, yeah, I t yeah, I was like, it was like one of those full <laughs> marks things where you're just like, yay. Complete with Marfan type syndrome, uh, Marfan type tendencies. Uh, yes, as well. yeah, hence the long knobbly fingers and the incredibly skinny knobbly toes. Well, that probably shows flexibility, too, doesn't it? Yeah, the fact that you can <laughs> just <laughs> lift. <laughs> <laughs> Here's my toes. <laughs> So uh, yeah, that's that's EDS kind of in a confusing nutshell. Yeah, and you've got fibromyalgia. Oh yeah, so fibromyalgia is a bit of a weird one. Um, so I can I, I I I can describe that pain, and the pain is random. Nerve um, pain. Nerve pain. Yeah, so. it's 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 one of those ones that kind of um, I don't they don't know what it is. They're looking into some things, and there's some evidence to prove maybe it's something to do with uh, neurological problems. Maybe it's something to do with nerves. All I know is that I have a host of neurological issues. So, um, um, I I don't know whether the low blood pressure is from um, EDS or fibro, but I, I I pass out quite a lot. It could be the pots. It could be something else. Um, and fibromyalgia, I get um, issues with parts of my body where essentially it's you can't even touch it because it's painful i can feel like a crease in the which is how we discovered cbd oh because... yes my the massage oil was an absolute godsend yeah. because i was trying everything at so this you point. couldn't touch it literally if i touched it felt like um you, you were shouting at me because it felt like it was on fire but yeah. um I spent some, many a night somebody gave us a bit of uh, cbd <laughs> oil, yeah, yeah which we tried i don't know um, borrow the one from here so so basically, I so I tried everything, and um, I, I tried the drops, first of all, uh, the ones that go under your tongue, and I found those massively helpful, especially because I'm on quite a lot of controlled medication. Some of it's quite strong. I'm on OxyContin and OxyNorm, which is basically like the liquid quick release. So it's quite a high amount of painkillers. I'm pretty much maxed out, um, which concerns me because if I have a flare-up or my flare-up continues, I don't really know where I'm going to go with it. But I tried CB and that helped massively with my pain somnia as well because I have terrible time sleeping whereas I found sometimes if I can have like I, I spend quite a lot of time in the bath on a bad day don't I so mm -hmm. I can have like five or six baths Epsom salt myself and then I, I basically I implore you to give me a massage with CBD oil and if I can do that with the drops and I take my medication and some norm I can usually actually sleep through the night which is fantastic but it's it's something that means the difference between me waking up hysterically in the middle of the night sobbing mm. or you being able to get some sleep so you can yeah. go to work so, so <laughs> watch out for other videos because we're uh, all of the products that we're <laughs> selling on the bouncing uh, zebra 
will be tested by us so you're we're going to make a video so you can and see other people in the cripple yeah. club as well so yeah. um it's it's i suppose it's i suppose you call it testimonials but i suppose we're just going to show you what i the only thing i can do really is tell you how it makes me feel and show you my routine to stop some of the pain that i feel uh and uh, we're going to you know give it to uh parts of the cripple club too so that we can see whether it helps with them and what difference it makes because not everyone in the cripple club has the same condition so it's interesting to find the difference in that and, and see. how it works for different people yeah, and exactly. there. so it's not a real sales pitch uh, we're trying to tell you the truth what it um how it affects other people and um, we're going to show Please you ask some any questions you want we're going to show you some interesting uh videos um watch this space like and subscribe and welcome to our herd <laughs> welcome any fellow zebras and feel free to drop us a message Thank you.